All right, so everything uh, is in my account now. So let's see what's going on next. In my content, we point to the graffiti, the feature layer, which is this one. Um, and click its arrow. There was no arrow. I think it was just a view item details. So the three dots. So. So now on the settings bar, which is right here, um, yeah, I enable editing. So when I before I publish it, so here it says scroll down, turn on enable editing, turn on keep track of who created, um, keep on track who created and last update features. Okay. All right. So I turn this on and click save click save perfect and note that for real use we have to share the map with the organization to make it available for the supervisor here we will keep the map private um, myself so we're going to create um, a map in ArcGIS online which we did many times for the simple map we will have to use the uh, graffiti calls the this one and go back to overview so there and we will say open in uh, ArcDesk, open in scene viewer. Uh, we have this in, but we will add a filter to select only calls that need the supervisor's review. All right, we will click the option button. So let's see where is option. Okay, did I share? Everyone public, okay. Uh, I don't see option anymore. Let's see here. Developers, survey one, two, three. Uh, all right, uh, survey one, two, three. I need to explore a little bit. All right. Um, Layers, open in, open in uh, map viewer. I think so. Um, I don't see the option. Should I back to contents? Let me back to contents and see. All right, it doesn't have options here. Let's see. Add a new map. I think I will open it here. All right, so I'm gonna add add search for layer. All right, cancel this. Okay, add layer, add four layers, and for insert, select my content. All right, my content that I'm gonna do is the graffiti's. Uh, This one. All right, click add. Down for layers. All right, previously already added. Okay, change the base map. So to street base map. I will say streets. All right, and. We already have one, so I'm gonna remove one. Remove. All right, remove. And now we're going to save the button. Save, save the map. So um, and we're going to save the map called Graffiti Calls. Gra. All right, Graffiti Maps. Tags will be uh, Graffiti. Graffiti, uh, I would say 2018, uh, March, there, summary, um, graffiti, cost, 
to be revealed by supervisor. And now I'm going to click save. And we're going to add a filter. So for for the filter query, we will select records for date approved and date terminated. And that are now blank. So um, the select records will correspond to new graffiti calls that have not yet been re reviewed by the supervisor and have not been deemed invalid or duplicate calls. So here in the contents pane, uh, for graffiti calls name, we will select the filter button, which is right here, uh, that dates approved. Dates approved is blank. Is blank there. And then, da -da -da. then I will apply, uh, add another one. Um, apply and zoom to as for value. Okay. Click add another expression. So now we have a date terminated. <coughs> date terminated is blank. There and we'll click apply filter. And we will only see seven filters. After that, we will see seven. All right. Can I say zoom to? Hmm, nothing shows up. Open attribute table. Yeah, I do have a seven features. Oh, but maybe the symbology, I need to change it. Uh, let's go to symbology. Oh, that's why here next we will do uh, symbology. So here, uh, symbology is this one that I'm going to do, uh, change the style, click options. So I'm going to go to options. So then symbols, choose the red circle, this one, and size, we will say it's 30. Thirty-six. Then, there. So now we can see, um, they are here, and we will save the map again. Perfect. And we're going to configure pop-up windows. So the data entry for collector is based on the pop-up window that we will configure for graffiti calls for the name, which originally had graffiti calls for collector as its source. So the attributes of the layer that we will choose for the pop-up window are the ones that will appear on collector's form, which collector automatically generates from the pop-up window. So uh, in the contents pane, we will, for the uh, graffiti calls, so we're going to click OK, uh, then back to details. No, it didn't save it. So the red one, I'm going to change it into 36, jacket, okay, 35 is fine. All right, so then click OK, click done. There, I didn't click done. So, um, configure pop-up window, right-click on here. It should be configure pop-up window, it's right here. And pop-up title, um, do we have a title? And then click configure attributes, select the attributes. So display, um, display configure here. So now I'm gonna uncheck everything. Oh, I cannot make this window change it. All right, so now I'm gonna select the first one is address. Then the second one will be zip code. We can add something here. So, and then zip code and date call. 
and then date approved. Date approved. And graffiti type. Graffiti type code and removal type code. All right. And then artist. Artists. Okay. And then work time estimate. Work time estimate. Work time estimate. Perfect. And time to terminate it. And then comment. There. Click OK. The supervisor can see them and enter or modify these attributes on a form in collector. So if I check, so they can just add it here. See? Uh, they can add it, um, which is really nice. Um, and we arrange the order of the attribute to the order uh, listed in step three by selecting lines and using the vertical arrow bottom. Uh, we can use the vertical up arrow several times to move each attribute, which can be tedious. It is not critically important that the attribute be in order as stated. So I, um, unless you agree. So. Um, now I do not select date call. All right, so then I can move around. I want the address first. So ID, that's fine. Zip code. Um, and then I want date approved. Uh, yeah, I want date approved first. Okay, so now I'm gonna uh, close and back in detail. And here, configure pop-up window and configure attribute table. So now I do one address code and date approved first. This one I'm gonna move up, gonna move up, gonna move up, move up, move up. Alright. Okay, date approved and graffiti graffiti type. So everything and I'm gonna go is on my phone. I already have everything on my phone. So everything I will just access on my phone, I can tell you uh, what's going on there. So, um, and everything we are done here. We don't have a more to do, so. All right, so now I'm gonna I'm gonna rearrange here. So I want um, day call, date approved, date approved, day call. Okay, day call. Move up, move up, move up, move up. Oh, too much. Okay, day call, date approved, and then graffiti type. This one, I think I'll just move it down. All right. Graffiti type. Graffiti type. Move up, move up, move up. Okay, graffiti type. Okay, data proof. Estimate. Time estimate. Work time estimate. Uh, work time estimate. Move down. Okay, graffiti type. Work. Graffiti type. Removal cold. Removal cold. Remove type code, move up, move up, move up. Okay, graffiti type, okay, re remove code and artist. Artist, move up, move up. All right, work, estimate, remove, all right. Artist, we have artist, work time estimate, we're very good. Day terminated, um, day finished, day terminated. I need to find day terminated, all right here. Down, 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 down. Okay, day terminated. And then comment. Day terminated. Day schedule. Why did I select the day schedule? And comment. Where's my comment? Let's look again. Okay, command is down here and move it down all the way down there. 
All right.